NJ Transit's mission is to maintain transportation built through communities. But a former Department of Transportation planning director is suggesting building communities through transportation. Gary Toth is with Lindsay Christian. Mr. Toth, let's take it back. So what was the original mission of the New Jersey Department of Transportation? Um, and what, you know, how can it be modernized to meet the challenges of the 21st century? Well, New Jersey DOT is one of 50 state DOTs around the country, and they were originally created going back to the 50s and some of them before that to build, to connect the country by roads. If you go back and read into the history of it, most of America was dirt roads. In the 20s, they started to build some roads, 20s, 30s, and 40s, and 50s, but there was a big push with the interstate system to connect the country with high-speed, safe roads. So the original mission of New Jersey DOT, as it was with the other state DOTs, was to connect the high-speed roads. And they were given a mandate by Congress, which was pretty ambitious, to build 40,000 miles of new roads in 20 years. And so they were structured to focus in on that mission and um, be sensitive to communities in the environment. However, the primary mission always sort of came first. So I know that you penned an op-ed for New Jersey Spotlight recently, your theme, Modernizing New Jersey Transit. So what do you propose or suggest the, uh, the department does to move it forward? So now that the first mission is accomplished, now we have to go back and complete the rest of the network. We have to support our cities, our communities. We have to build a biking and walking network. And so it really, the fundamentally, it's just rethinking both agencies that their mission is no longer simply moving people around efficiently and mobily, but also at the same time nurturing our economy, our communities, and the health of our citizens. That's a great segue into my next question about the Transportation Trust Fund, $400 million dedicated to repair roads mm -hmm. and highways. Um, do you think the department can revamp and modernize its status by dealing with, or are they able to do that, however, they're dealing with short-term issues? Well, it's nature of transportation around the country, New Jersey's no exception, that there's never really going to be enough money to do everything you want. So it's a matter of prioritizing. And so once we start thinking of the mission of transportation as more than mobility, but it's also nurturing our cities, our communities, the health of our, of our citizens, then you have different prioritization for that funding. And some of the other ways of investing it, like in walking and biking, active transportation and in transit, what it also does is it saves money in other silos. We've been looking at transportation in the silo, and, but if we do invest in the health of our citizens, the obesity rate in this country has become alarming. It's on a, the Center for Disease Control classifies it as an epidemic. And in the United States, 18% of its GDP is invested in healthcare, which is double other nations, and that cost is, is starting to cripple state and city economies. So if we rethink the mission into a more global thing, we'll get a better return on investment by splitting the money amongst many uses as opposed to simply maintaining the high-speed mobility system. Mr. Toe, thank you for joining us. All right, thank you.